This video explains how to combine a character string and an expression in a plot text using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines two and three of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame called data is appearing. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains five rows and the two columns X and Y. Now, if we want to draw these data using the basic installation of the R programming language, we can use the plot function, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. And within the plot function, we have to specify the name of our data frame. And in this case, I'm also specifying a main title, which contains the character string, my main title. So after running lines five and six of the code, you can see at the bottom right of our studio that a new plot is created. And as you can see, this plot contains the main title, my main title. However, you can also see that at this point, no expression has been added to this character string. So if we want to do that, we can use the expression function, as you can see in lines eight and nine. So once again, I'm using the plot function, I'm specifying our data frame, and I'm using the main argument. However, this time I'm using the expression function to combine our character string, my main title, with an expression. And in this case, I'm using square brackets, a tilde, and the caret symbol. So after running lines eight and nine of the code, you can see how the output of these lines looks like. So as you can see, our main title, my main title, is still shown at the top of our plot. However, with the square brackets, we have specified that we want to show the text within the square brackets at a lower position. Then we have used the tilde to show our alpha value a little bit higher and the caret symbol to show the beta value even at a higher position. So in this first example, I have explained how to use base R to create a plot with a plot text containing a character string and an expression. However, we can also use the ggplot2 package for this task. And this is what I want to show you in the next examples, starting in line 11 of the code. So as a very first step, we need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 11 and 12. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 12 of the code. And then in the next step, in lines 14 and 15 of the code, I'm creating a ggplot2 plot that is called ggp. So after running these lines of code, this plot object is appearing at the top right. And we can draw this plot by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom right that we have created a ggplot2 scatter plot without any additional text elements. So if you want to add a main title to this plot, we can use lines 18 and 19. So in this case, I'm using the GG title function to add a main title that contains the character string, my main title. So after running these lines of code, you can see that my main title is added. And now in the next step, we can modify the input to the GG title function based on the expression function. And in this case, I'm using exactly the same expression as in the previous example where I have drawn my base R plot. So after running lines 21 and 22 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated. And this time our character string, my main title, was combined with an expression. So in this example, I have shown how to add a main title to a ggplot2 plot that combines a character string and an expression. However, it's also possible to add such a combination within the plot area. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in lines 24 to 28. So in this case, I'm adding the annotate function to our plot object. And within the annotate function, I'm specifying that I want to add some text. I'm specifying the coordinates of this text and I'm specifying the label argument and I'm setting this argument to be equal to our combination of our character string. So in this case, I'm using my text 
and our expression. So after running lines 24 to 28 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And this time our character string that is combined with an expression is shown within the plot area. And now in the last lines of code, I want to show you that we can even modify the style of this text. So in this case, I'm adding a color, which should be red, and I'm increasing the size of this text. So after running lines 30 to 36 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again, and this time the color and the size of our text has been changed. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.